Apps? Yeah, we got apps. We got free apps. Welcome to the Daily Appster. The short time we spend together today is devoted to iOS applications, either for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Not just any applications, but free ones. I'm James, and I sort through all the terrible application muck to find the gems you've been searching for. This is the Daily Appster for May 19th, 2011. I've got a bunch of really awesome apps for you today. I want to start off with a universal app called Candy Train. Candy Train. This sounds like a little kid's game, but it is very cool. You start off as a locomotive, and you're driving around on these tracks. And it's all cutesy, kind of Candyland style. As you drive around, you can change the direction of these tracks by tapping on them. When you tap them, they kind of rotate. You're trying to get to different areas of the map in order to pick up new cars that just get added on to the back of your locomotive. Uh, When you finally pick up the caboose, well then a station appears and you have to navigate over and go into the station. Gets a little bit faster, gets a little bit harder. Very cool, very addicting candy train. Next up is a universal app. It's called Tracing Paper, and that's exactly what this is. This allows you to take a picture or use a picture from your photo library. You can kind of, you know, zoom in and out, move it to the part of the canvas that you would like, and then it kind of just gets put in the background and tracing paper put over it. At that point, you're able to, you know, choose a color and size of your pencil, and you're able to trace the image. When you're done with that image, you can throw another one on there and trace something else. Very cool if you want to learn how to draw certain items. Check it out. It's called Tracing Paper. Next up is an application called Eyedropper, the color sampling tool. Eyedropper. And in all your graphics programs, you know you've got that little icon that's the eyedropper that allows you to take color from somewhere in the image and then use that color. Well, this allows you to do that with something that you've just taken a picture of or something from your photo library. Um, Then you're able to use this eyedropper to use that color. It will actually give you the code for those colors. I'm not sure the exact terminology here, but it'll give you the, the RGB or the CMYK codes. It'll also give you two other codes that I've never seen before, HSV and HEX. So that means something to somebody, I'm sure. Uh, But if you're interested in getting exact colors to use in a graphics program, check out Eyedropper. Next up is called Mystic T. Mystic T. It's a universal app, and it's sort of a Chinese puzzle game. You've got these four pieces of flagstone, and they fit into, you know, just tons of different kinds of shapes. These Just these same four pieces. When you tap on them, you can rotate them around, and then you just kind of drag them with your finger and move them to the point in the puzzle. This is an extremely polished game. It's very pretty, and it's really fun to move these pieces around, and the music is fantastic. If you like puzzle games, check out Mystic T. Next up is Chop Chop Ninja, and then also Chop Chop Ninja HD, and they're both free right now through uh, freeappaday.com. Well, I mean, on this show, I've talked about Chop Chop Caveman and Chop Chop Runner. Those have both been free. And now Chop Chop Ninja. This is a platformer where you're also beating up guys. You're able to jump off of walls, do kind of like double jumps. And there's several different kind of physics-y style puzzles. It's very cool, very pretty, definitely on par with the other Chop Chop games. So check that out, Chop Chop Ninja. This next app I want to talk about is an iPad-only app. Sorry for anybody who doesn't have an iPad, but I was really excited about this one. It's called Snag Films. That's one word, and apparently it's been out for a long time. But what this allows you to do is browse through and watch documentary movies for free. Some of these, you know, you may be able to watch somewhere else, say maybe Netflix streaming or something like that, but some of these you can't find anywhere else. Several of these I've seen, and they're fantastic. If you like documentary movies, definitely recommend you check this out. It's called Snag Films. The last app I want to talk about today is called Audibly. Audibly dash 2,947 audiobooks for free. Now, there's a reason I put this at the very end of the show. It's because I didn't want you jumping on Audibly and, and turning off the podcast so soon. Like it says, this is 2,947 audiobooks that are in the public domain. So these are older books, but there's so much good stuff here. It's really kind of cool how it works, too, when you say you want to listen to one of these books. It'll download that chapter and maybe a couple more chapters. And as you listen to it, it will download more chapters 
so it doesn't waste a lot of your device's space. But if you're going on, say, a long car ride, or you're going somewhere you're not going to have internet connection, you can download a whole book, so that's just up to you. Very cool, lots of content here. Check out Audibly. That's all the apps I have for you today. You can follow the show and find links to all the apps I've talked about at thebigskillet.com. If you'd like to email me for any reason, you can do that at thedailyappster at gmail.com. And I'm on Twitter at twitter.com slash thedailyappster. Thanks to iCactus for the opening and closing music. Until next time, enjoy your free apps. Thank you.